Hi everyone, it's Miss Angie from the Batavia and Owensville Branch Library. And today we're going to do some fun activity as in salt and watercolor painting. Now, salt painting is both an art and a science. And you may be wondering what the science part of it is. Well, we'll be using regular table salt today, which is a compound called sodium chloride. Now, you can find a lot of salt in everywhere you see in the world. You can find salt in the ocean water. You can find salt in, even in our body. So salt has a lot of other purposes too. They can flavor your food. They can be used as a preservative and they can also be used to absorb water. And that's the part of the science that we're going to use today. So for today's activity, you will need some regular table salt. Now you're going to be using a lot of it, so make sure you ask ahead of time because you don't want to get in trouble with your parent. Also, you're going to need some heavy paper. Lighter paper might bend on you or get a little wet, so use heavier construction paper. Also, you're going to need a pencil some shapes, some fun shapes. It could be any shape you'd like. You're going to need some liquid glue, an eyedropper for the color paint, and you're going to need some watercolors. Now, if you don't have watercolor paint, you can make some by using just regular old water and some food coloring. So what you're going to do is just do a tiny bit of water in your cup and just do three or four drops of color. And that will give you your watercolor for today. And we're just going to stir it up. All right. So now we have our four colors. Now for the first part, you're going to take your, um, your paper, you're going to take your shape, and you're going to take your pencil and you're going to trace your shape all along your paper. Now you can, if you're a good drawler, you can do this by freehand. Miss Angie is not a great drawler, but she's great at tracing. So there's our fish shape. And we have a lobster. And then next we're going to use some Elmer's glue. Now you're going to do a steady stream of glue. So we got our glue. And we're going to just do a steady stream just like this. You can also use this for snowflake designs or in the spring when you want to do watercolor designs for Easter. You can draw out your shapes and outline it with glue and then salt on top of it and then do your watercolor in that way. There's many ways you can use this for the seasons and holidays to decorate. And there we do, we got our glue just like that. Now next, like I told you for before, we're going to use salt and we're going to use a lot of it. So pour it on your glue, just like that. Get it well and covered. Now, you're also, after you use the salt, are going to need to throw any extra away. So I have a bowl right here, and I'm just going to put the extra salt right in that bowl and keep everything nice and neat. And there you have the first part of your craft. 
Now, your shapes and salt and glue are going to need to dry for about 10 minutes. So we're going to set this aside and let it dry. And I have one that I did earlier for you. Now, when you let it dry and you go to move it, you might notice some of the glue and salt will chip away. That is fine. That's normal with salt and glue. Now we're going to get to the fun part. I'm going to make sure I have a little extra paper underneath. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our eyedropper and we're going to start placing our color. And if you notice, you just do one drop and it follows the salt along. And it colors. I'll do some yellow. And how about some blue up here for our seahorse's tail? And just like that, you can do some salt painting. You have our clam. And you can change up your colors throughout. You can make different colors, use these. If you have some different colors at home, you can put the different colors on each of your outlines. And that's a simple way for you to use uh, science and art together. So I hope you enjoyed your salt painting. I hope that you get a lot of great ideas throughout this season because there's leaves you can outline, you can make snowflakes in the winter, you, all kinds of fun things you can do with salt and color. So have a good day, have a lot of fun with your painting, and I hope that you post some of your artwork on our website and have a great day everyone. I know I said that before, but it's good to hear from all of you. Talk to you later. Bye.